Welcome to the Potter Blog site, March 17th, 2014. A second plutonium spike has occurred at the WIP facility. The most important thing to note is that the processes which caused the explosion on Valentine's Day are still occurring at the WIP mine and there could be another follow-on explosion. The data that we have graphed here from Semerc shows that another plutonium spike occurred on March 23rd, approximately 400% greater than what occurred the day before. Now we have links to all the information to Semerc's data. Uh, there are some troubling things in here again. Once again, Semerc appears to have obfuscated this data by changing their reporting style to aggregate data. So right when this event happened, they started averaging the spikes out over a one-day period instead of the three times per day that they were doing it. Basically, if you look at this chart right here, let me zoom in real quick. What that means is, is if you look at like this section of the chart here, these three points which uh, are these three points here which all occurred were all measured I think on one day if you uh, didn't take these as three individual measurements but aggregated them into one measurement the result would have been a reading right down here and basically so you would have had a plutonium reading that was in 10 becquerels per cubic meter down now below one becquerel per cubic meter so aggregating data serves to peanut butter it out. Now there's one very important other aspect that you need to be aware of. We have covered it previously, but we're going to mention it here again. And that is that the HEPA filters, it's clear to us, and based on inside information, the HEPA filters did not start automatically or immediately after the plutonium explosion. And here's Semerc's, uh, actually this is WIPS data here, uh, raw data, February 14th. You can see on February 14th, they detected 28,000 disintegrations per minute of alpha radiation. On February 15th, they detected a greater amount, 36,000 disintegrations per minute. So, during the explosion, a lesser amount, the day after, a greater amount. Now you compare this to the unfiltered air, and what we see is, let me zoom in up here, what we see is, is the day of the explosion, we have 4.4 million alpha disintegrations per minute. The day after, we have 225,000. So vastly more alpha radiation was detected the day of, and vastly less the day after. But if we look at the HEPA filter readings, and what we see here again is, is the day of the explosion, 214, the readings were 28,000. The day after, the readings were 36,000. The HEPA filters, is very clear, did not switch on automatically or even rapidly after this explosion. The vast majority of plutonium, we believe, was released unfiltered. Be prepared to evacuate.